You've split your forces. You're vulnerable in the air. And you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. Agent. The demise of Imperial intelligence notwithstanding, I look forward to seeing your best work. I look forward to doing my best work. Adegan Crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. You said something over hollow about Republic interference. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jeric Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. Why must the Jedi always interfere? The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team, and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. It sounds like this Jedi is defenseless without his shock troopers. No Jedi is really defenseless, but the shock troopers are key. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open, where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the Duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins' base. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured, this war can only end one way. You know your options, Master Caden. Surrender. Save a life. I oppose the Treaty of Coruscant. Why should I surrender now? And circumstances are looking much brighter. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. If you thought you could win, you would have attacked by now. A Jedi must seek the path of peace first. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. It will be a pleasure killing you. I hope to deny you as much pleasure as I possibly can. Troopers, join me for the Republic! This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Just internal politics. Darth Malgus, I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. How do I fit in? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader. Challenge their general. Win their respect, and they will defend that mine to the death. For the Empire. Aliens! You want us to recruit aliens? I didn't realize the battle on Corellia was so costly. New planet, new contest. We can't fear the past. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalish General, then bring me his head. Darth Malgus's plan makes more sense. 
I will not trust the Empire to mercenary freaks. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right of challenge. Leader Gilrex, who challenges me? The Empire's most dangerous assassin. What do you want with the people of Kali? The Empire wants you to join them and fight for them. You have defeated my warriors. You are strong. You have issued the challenge. You are knowledgeable. But the Republic pays us well and offers us a place among their people. What if I promise your people a place in the Empire? The first alien since the ancient Sith to join. Then I offer my sword and my blaster to you. Take them as a sign of our sworn allegiance to the Empire. Are you deliberately trying to provoke me? I'm doing what I was sent to do. Now if you'll excuse me. I have other matters to attend to. And you? I did not request your help so that you could bring aliens into the Empire. I did what was needed to strengthen the Empire. The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. Our best recon teams are scouting the Republic base for an attack. But in the meantime, we need to prepare for the arrival of the prototype fleet. What's the assignment? We need the fleet in place on the surface. Everything we need to build the Stealth Armada is on that fleet. But the Republic's anti-aircraft artillery installation controls the skies. Anything that flies too low gets shot down. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield, while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Who are Delta Squad? And why haven't I heard of them? Their exploits were usually of the Black Ops variety. If you'd heard of them, they wouldn't be half as good. Get into position at the comm relay just outside the artillery base. Contact Delta Squad when you're ready, and they'll bring the ray shield down. After that, it's up to you. Destroy those guns and get out of there. Alive. Copy. There was a trap. The Republic were waiting for us at the shield generators. We're under heavy fire. I don't know how long we can... Did you hear that? Somebody's played us for fools. The Republic artillery base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. The Empire might save itself the expense of an army, and just hire me next time. We don't have time to scramble another squad to the generators. Remember, you won't be able to reach the Republic's artillery until the ray shield is down. Take out the shield generators, and then destroy the guns. Contact me at the Republic base once both the shield generators and the guns are destroyed. My men will move in and clean up. We're slicing the Republic's computers now. Let's see what they're doing out there in the cold. Ah, Master Caden's killer. He was a good man, and will be sorely missed. But killing one great man is never enough. The Republic has always thrived on the effort of its united citizens. Lieutenant, input the coordinates of the Imperial base into the ELX-25 and fire when ready. Give my regards to Moff Regis. Blast! The ELX-25 was only supposed to be in planning stages. If it's operational, it could obliterate our base with a single shot. Wait, what's the ELX-25? An experimental long-range cannon, supposedly years from completion. But the Republic must have built a prototype. Sounds like we're the test. We have to improvise, based on estimates of the ELX-25's range, and the origin of the Admiral's transmission. It should be at these coordinates. We have limited time, and you're closest. Destroy that weapon. I hope the Admiral's still around when I get there. Me too. The Republic will answer for this. Destroy the ELX-25, or we'll have no choice but to retreat from Ilum.
Did the Republic learn of our plans? All the more reason the Empire needs to reimagine itself for the changing times. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. What's the use of a stealth armada if the Republic's spies can learn its location? Imperial intelligence is not my problem. I'm here to win Ilum. I'm curious how you plan to do that. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. The main fleet is going to batter the exposed site to oblivion. The objective is to claim the Republic crystal supplies, kill Admiral Shai, and open the docking bay door so Imperial forces can clean up. You'll be entering through this tunnel and hitting deep within the mountain, where the fleet can't reach. And while you and the main fleet give the Republic a beating, I'll prep the Crystal Fleet for the transfer of the Republic's crystals. A two-pronged attack. Are you on board? Whatever your philosophical shortcomings, you are a solid tactician. I earned my title. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. And the futility of all of this. You claim the crystals for the Empire. They build their armada. We will find a way to detect it, to destroy it. And then, the Empire will build something bigger and better. On and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. I think the Empire will win long before it comes to that. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. That if you just kill me, this will all be over. What did I tell you about destroying great men? The Empire will fail because it insists on being a set of individuals rather than a true citizenship. Because it insists on pushing everyone else to the margins. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. All this talk isn't doing you any favors. No? Well, I didn't expect so. Let's get this done with then.